What is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 19 of my Newcastle United Football Manager 2017, 100% live. Let's play. So, guys, now getting very, very close to the end of the season. So, I'm just realizing it's going to be done. We're going to be staying up. So we've got 38 points. And Burnley is on 26. That we've played an extra game. So even if they win, yeah, we've been able to avoid uh, the drop. And especially, I think, uh, we'll be able to win at least two more games for the rest of the season. Uh, but we will just see how it goes. So uh, you can see we lost against Tottenham. Harry Kane, absolute beast. He's a quality striker in FM. Quality striker in real life, but definitely bangs in the goals in football manager that is for sure so uh where are we in terms of the other teams so this is <laughs> like a season uh really the six strongest teams uh, anyone real no one has really uh underachieved but then saying that chelsea they have they have but they're still around yeah there's none of those top six teams out of the top six if that makes sense so yeah they've all been up there been a competitive season uh very very strong and saying that we got manchester city up and they need to win this so this is still a massive game to test ourselves uh well at least chelsea's made it this far in the fa cup semi-final uh could liverpool beat them and they do three chelsea yeah definitely uh not on that high quality level as they were in real life in the premier league so that's very interesting after a strong season after updates yeah i'm not sure whoever made the transfer update i'm using uh, actually improved the attributes of chelsea I, yeah i don't really know specifically i just downloaded it pretty much but yeah man city uh, they win there as well so how about in between next game okay it's still a week so they still get <laughs> their rest they just play the game and brighton uh, even though it was pretty much done already yeah they're going to be getting relegated uh, they've found it really really hard to compete they only picked up points in six games of the season compare that to us uh, we kicked up uh, we picked up a points in 16 games for the season so yeah we did better than them and uh, huddersfield uh, this season Huddersfield were a bit better but not too much not too much better than uh, Brighton but we were able to get over 10 wins we've got 11 so far so yeah I think that's uh, compared to yeah like I'm comparing to them uh, the newly promoted sides I think uh, we did show a bit more especially after January after the turn of the new year uh, so what's up with the training sessions the, the high training workload, is it high? It's on medium. So when they complain about high training work rate uh, um, or workload, I should say, uh, but the work rate as well, um, same kind of thing, <laughs> um, is not their work rate may not be high enough. They're not working hard enough. But yeah, I don't feel when the overall workload is on medium, you're not overdoing it. And general training is on average. Yeah. I wouldn't say that is overdoing it for mine uh, because then there's other players that are fine with it. Those are the players that want to work hard. So unless a large majority of the uh, first team was complaining or just, yeah, everyone at the club, I suppose. But if there is a select few, yeah, what can you do? Because you compare, why aren't these other guys complaining? They're happy enough with it. You're just not working hard enough. So yeah, it's interesting one. So any results here that are relevant for us? Not really. Even like Huddersfield and Burnley, like, yeah, not really going to matter for us. Even if they start picking up some wins. Well, if they win every single game, but yeah, I can't really, you can't really see that happening uh, as you can see. Ooh, Huddersfield, they do win though. Southampton giving them a chance. And Arsenal, ooh, that could be costly for them. Uh, they're giving a chance to City to overtake them. So yeah, City against us. Gonna, they, so even more so, they're going to be up for it. So if we manage to have a good performance against them, I'll take a lot out of that. But you can see uh, Watford uh, beat Crystal Palace there as well. So yeah, as you can see, after 34 games at least, the okay, there's a few teams that haven't played their game, but at least with teams below us, you can see the difference. Uh, we are not. We're not going <laughs> to. We're not going to drop out. Uh, just get another win to. I think yeah, make sure of that mathematically. But uh, yeah, we'll be staying up, and I'm happy about that. I already talked about that in a previous episode. I think how I asked if you guys uh, thought that I would after I said I was pretty confident I'll stay up uh, earlier in the season, even when we're in the relegation zone. So. Any one of, no, see, the current work, and they're all unknowns. They're all players that don't have the potential. That's why they don't have the potential because when harder training is put to them, yeah, they just don't have the ability or the workload, um, the work rate to train that workload. Sounds a bit confusing, but you get it. 
That's why. That's why not the best players in the team are complaining because they are that ability. So <laughs> it makes sense. And they should see that as well. Okay. I actually want Leicester to win this. I'm trying to be a bit greedy because I <laughs> get a higher position where Swansea is. A draw would be all right, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Either way, okay, no, Swansea wins. So how about that? It might have been hard to get to Swansea. Uh, so, yeah, maybe I can't get too greedy. Uh, but that means, yeah, we'll stay clear of 17th as well. We've got some breathing space. But, again, we're, uh, we are... Uh, we can't get too ahead of ourselves because I wouldn't say it's an amazing season. There's nothing to brag about. I just say, yeah, we've been able to do what was expected of us and then we've got to continue to improve our team in the next season. Uh, that's going to be the challenge. Um, who's this guy? Connor Mani, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I had a principal um, at my school. His name was Mr. Mani, so I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Uh -huh. Um yeah, I don't think he's going to have really, really high potential, but he's very strong on both feet. Uh, that could be very valuable because he's already 20. If he was 17 or 18 looking like that, a couple more years of strong development, maybe, but I just don't think uh, he would be. At 20 years of age, that's when you would have to be breaking through a Premier League team, and he's not even dominating uh, in the League One, Skybet League One. So, yeah, that's a bit concerning, I would say. Uh, Konamani, yeah, he's... Nothing special. He's got a little bit of potential. Potential to be a chance. So I wasn't yeah, really sure why he was suggested to us, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe because Newcastle were a championship team in the game before because the uh, yeah the database update to put them in the Premier League. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure if they're still seen as that. But anyway, these just for tutoring. Uh, these guys these guys got a bit of potential. Okay. Okay. We will do that. Tutoring. And yeah, for Ashraf Lazar, uh, we'll say, I like to say the second option, you mentor him off the pitch. I like to, I like to say that one and you can see there, we just have to invite him into the room and we'll say passionately, I think your game will be improved. And uh, yeah, they're both happy with that. But yeah, I just, there's something about that guy that I, his potential is okay, but I don't see him like becoming a starting left back for us especially in the near future. But yeah, we'll just see how we go. And the under 18s, um, anyone is Errington coming. Look, he's improving already. He's doing well in training. So that's good to see. I want to tutor him, but just not yet. Um, I wouldn't want to tutor him, <laughs> John Joe Shelby. Tom Canney, I'd say very close. His determination, what, is only 11. And Jonathan, his determination is already 16. You know the problem there? When you actually tutor a player and, he, um, and the player tutoring him has lower determination, their determination it goes down. I've never understood that. If you know why, please let me know. But I don't understand why tutoring a player it would make their determination go down. Even if the guy is tutoring has less determination, he shouldn't get less determined, especially if the tutoring is going well, because that's what happened. Other attributes go up as well, but then determination, well, normally I like to tutor with determination higher um, from the guy tutoring him, and then it goes up. But if you do it with someone with lower determination, it goes down. But I just, I never understood why that would happen. You know, if you have an answer for me, please let me know. That's one thing for sure. I haven't <laughs> known in football manager. Just, yeah, it's more something that didn't make sense to me. Like, yeah, why would he become less determined than he already is? Does he tell him some bad stuff or something? <laughs> I don't really know. But guys, let's see the results here. Chelsea needed win for them. Uh, Man United going strong. And again, guys, if you're new to it, I talked about database update and you're wondering why Ibra is still there. Uh, he what, He's a free transfer in the database update. Um, and the person who made it probably released an uh, even more recent one. But yeah, Ibrahimovic, see, he's only he's 12 games. He... I'll show you here. He joined on a free signing. So, yeah. But he he joined Manchester United. <laughs> kind of like he did in real life. But, yeah, this is the update. That sounds a bit confusing, but hopefully you understand. Like, yeah, the update gave him a free transfer. But because he was at the free transfer at the start of the save, Manchester United just signed him again. And I think there's been some rumors for that anyway. But uh, we will just have to see um, another scout, uh, Tony uh, Cotton. Hmm. I was going to say he has some nice attributes, but then the actual scouting attributes, not the best. Okay. Uh, we'll be on a lookout for another scout. See, does job center, uh, staff shortlist, sorry, uh, staff search we'll go into, and then scouting, scout, 
and then we will have to go by the coaching attributes. Uh, well, actually, sorry, on the mental attributes and yeah, ju judging player ability or potential. We have to see. A lot of them are already taken. <laughs> that's a problem. Um, I may have to leave it for now and wait to the off season because that's yeah when a lot get released from their contracts. That's the time to pounce for staff. Okay, hold the team meeting. To see, like I said, to mathematically avoid relegation. But yeah, I think you know we will. I'm just going to say we've almost ensured our survival. So go out there next match and make sure you complete the job without minimum fuss. Hmm. I don't want to say something that will get a bad reaction. Ignore the fact that just go out there, put in solid performance in the road. Oh, yeah, I think that will be all right. Ah, fuck off. Why did Morg... I'm not trying to play it down. Far man. That's why I hate team meetings. It makes morale go down. I wasn't expecting that overall reaction, but I respect those. No, I don't respect, honestly. And, and, oh, man. I just... I hate getting bad reactions from morale because that didn't have to happen. The, fuck. I hate team meetings like that, man. Because it's just... Well, those all those options felt the same. I wasn't trying to play it down. Oh, that's that's annoying, man. Next time I just won't do it. <laughs> ah, that annoys me. And especially like when I'm trying to do a commentary, it's hard to read all the options and um, comprehend what exactly they all mean. Uh, not it's not a huge disaster. It's probably not a big disaster as I'm making it sound. But yeah, I just always want to have the best morale as possible. Uh, so let's see who's going to get a good result. See Tottenham, they even beat uh, Southampton 3-0. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, and with a good game, uh, that would be uh, Manchester City. If we get a result, it will be a good game. But yeah, uh, I thought what I said, oh, I don't want to go on it uh, for too long. Move on, move on, move on. Uh, anything interesting? Not too much. Yeah, perfect timing. Uh, come on. Let's just... Uh, see, so he's probably not. He's probably going to need some game. Uh, it's going to be end of the season. Hanley, I hate. He's a biz. I'm. I'm just going to put him in the under twenty three squad. Then we don't have to see abysmal. Problem solved. <laughs> I just. He's. Na it's more so just seeing his name there annoying me. So you just have to remove. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's. Hot to me. Gomez is still not the fitness, ideal fitness to play for mine. Oh, Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. What are we going to do? Aqua is on a yellow. Mm, this is tough decisions. I think Charlie Adam, his experience, oh, he's doing bad in training. So I have to kind of stick to my guns. How about Diame then? He's only going down in dribbling, I suppose. That's a good. John Joe Shelby. No, we're going to start John Joe Shelby and hopefully he will show and prove. Uh, today so hmm let's put on aqua on the bench actually yeah aqua on the bench for oh i'm just deciding here actually i'll leave it as is because yeah we've got a defensive midfielder can play center mid attacking mid then we've got the army as well so two central players there and then atsu could play out wide yeah, I think I think that would be all right. Yeah, we'll just... Oh, it's tough. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of pressure on this game. I feel we're going to start Mitrovic, though. And then we'll put target man... Actually, defensive forward. Defensive forward on support. And then, yeah, we'll go attacking for the wingers. Because, yeah, he'll be playing defensive role. Some more supporting. And, yeah, guys, <laughs> we'll go in with that. So, let's see. Let's see. Come on. We can't expect to win. But, oh, my God. Look at their players. Uh, Gundogan. Might just hard tackle him. He's a bit injured. So, we'll see. I think we'll stick to our guns, not not tight marking. Like I alluded to in the last episode, I think I remember saying it. Yeah, uh, set up defensively in terms of... We'll just get, you've got to pick up your game, so especially... Okay, let's see that. Okay, it's motivating. Could have gone either way. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said... Uh, tactical setup defensively without actually saying tight marking yeah we can do that like our, our setup is to hopefully uh, defend well uh, in that facet of the game because in a lot of games this season you've seen from our results 
especially in the second half of the season. We'll see what happens here. Oh, Bernardo's just running through. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, that's what I mean. A lot of uh, In a lot of our games against mid-table teams, against teams around our position, and even outside of that top six against some other teams, yeah, basically outside of that, in a lot of games, we've been able to compete. So let's see what happens here, though. Oh, this is a tough game. Bernardo, who is just running through. Oh, Kenny. <sighs> Wow, what an interception. Even if we lose the ball and it ends up... Uh oh they lose the ball. Mitrovic, could it be the right decision? Oh, uh, that's annoying. See, a star striker would have just put that home and we will be 1-0 up. That's what I mean. In terms of you talk about tactics and everything like that, set up well, we forced them into an error. If you just had a better, more composed, higher quality striker, we'd be currently winning 1-0 against Manchester City. So, yeah, oh, that's that's really annoying, but I'm pleased we created that chance. Would Dwight Gale finish that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. So I'm, I want to look... Leave your suggestions in the comments maybe, but I'll still analyse myself. I... I'm going to look out for a striker that has clinical finish, that's clinical in that situation, that won't pass up those opportunities pretty much. So we'll just say that one there, just motivate them. But yeah, because that's the difference. We could be going in 1-0, great position against a team trying to fight uh, for a top four position, essentially. Though it doesn't seem like they are trying to right now. Maybe they just think this result is going to happen at home. But right now we're cruising along fairly well without needing to make so many changes. But they are making a change now. It's David Silva coming on. So let's try and make our own change here. Yeah, Mitrovic, I think after that miss, yeah, a bit lost of uh, confidence there. Dwight Gale going to come on and go inside forward and then we'll drop. Yeah, I don't like having all those three attacking players all on attack. Uh, duty. I'll either have the striker on attack, then the two wingers on support, inside forward with the role as well, or if the striker is playing a more supporting role, uh, put them on attack. I think that's the okay balance, but yeah. Uh, see, right now I'm feeling like this game, we should be 1-0, 100% with the chance we had. Isaac Hayden is on a yellow. I'm going to take off Dummett, actually. I'm going to bring on Lazar, and uh, we shall see. Um, we've played out a great game. Magic City haven't really looked like scoring. Maybe they've had some half chances. Again, if you see from the stats, but two shots on target, no clear. We had one clear cut chance. Obviously, you know which chance that was. But again, okay, we'll see what happens from this, and maybe we'll do a team talk touchline team talk but again we gave away possession that's gonna hurt us because it hits us on the break see playing offside trap that that's that hurts it as well and that's what i've hated this season that's what i hated this season that was just because we gave away possession because the defense this is what i mean fair enough yeah always when you give away possession there's a chance it will lead to a goal because it goes from you giving away possession to them having possession. But when it happens that quickly and the defense are not positioned to anticipate that, when it's a pass that you shouldn't give away, that's what I'm really talking about here. When it's a pass you shouldn't give away, the defense are not anticipating it, and then bang, 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 uh, you are dead, essentially. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that's really, really tough. But anyway, guys, I'm going to... Uh, let's bring on Joel Campbell, maybe. I'm just thinking, like, yeah, this time in the season, let's play some players that's going to uh, get some game time that's going to help their development in terms of young guys because we will stay up, but, yeah, that's uh, that's tough to take. They was going to do a team talk as well, maybe concentrate, maybe wouldn't have given away possession and led to that goal. Uh, yeah, that's uh, all hypothetical now, unfortunately. Uh, John Stones, Joel Campbell intercepts. Well done, come on. If we don't get a goal in this game, I feel... Yeah, it will be hard on us. Kenny. Joel Campbell. Still up in the air if we'll sign him for the $6 million as well. It will be a bargain, but still would he be a player that makes a huge impact, even if he would be cheap. And De Bruyne could have been 2-0, maybe should have been 2-0 there. Uh, Joel Campbell. Come on. <laughs> oh, they just have some stars in their team, don't they? Fred is a good player as well. Uh, Kenny. He doesn't win the ball this time. He gives away the foul. It's just a lecture from Martin Atkinson there. So uh, still we've only had the one shot uh, for the game that was on target. And still Manchester City haven't had any clear chances for the game. So 
And this is at home. for This is like a away game against Man City. It's going to be another low cross, is it? Is it? Yes, it is. See, I feel like when I can see those now, like the last few times, it's like I just see them, oh, it's just a cross goal. And I don't really take it too seriously because I know they're OP in Football Manager, just something I take on the chin. It's like, oh, yeah, one of those goals again. Maybe I should take them a bit more seriously and trying to, but I know they're OP. So, yeah, I just take them on the chin and, yeah, you can see them against uh, good teams when they have much higher attributes than you because math- mathematically that will happen. Ah, and when your keeper d- is asleep, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my hands up now like I've given up. <laughs> uh, we're in a good position in the first half, but, yeah, maybe don't forget, Manchester City, it was so important for them to win this game uh, to keep alive for Champions League football, top four finish. So it could, be, it's a, it could have been exactly the same boat uh, from their manager's point of view. They will get stuck into them. But Rykovic, wake the fuck up. Are you asleep today or what? This is the first time I've actually gotten mad at him. Like, really mad. Not maybe, yeah, you can't tell with my voice, but I'm most disappointed in him or something. I don't know. He's just, he's been asleep, it feels like. I know it's late in the season. Players are tired. Don't forget, it's a long footballing season, of course. Players deserve their rest, fought hard to stay up this season. So, yeah, maybe I've got to give him some leniency. Uh, but I'm a bit disappointed because we could have had that goal and could have been 1-0 if things played out different and maybe we could have gone more defensive and you never know what could have happened. But, yeah, I'm, I'm still fairly relaxed <laughs> apart from when those things happen in the moment because, yeah, I know we've had that solid season. Gail, come on, score, lad! Oh, that was a decent effort. At least force a save from the goalkeeper and makes us have two click up chances for the game. Like when I read that and see the chances we had, it makes me happy because it knows with better quality, we will get better results. So yeah, focus on the transfer window, bring better quality in and we'll only have um, yeah a better season next season because we will take those chances. We will defend better. And I want to cut down on them having so much space. Maybe I've got to focus on that a bit more tactically. Like, I mean, I have to think about it more. What actually should I do? Uh, but for the most part, I'm not too stressed because I see the chances we have in games and I'm like, yep, yeah, a better player would have finished that. A better player would have defended that opportunity. So yeah, I'm, I'm not too stressed. But of course, we did have to get results and yeah, f- for sure, not denying that. But that's exactly what we did. Uh, yeah, it just wasn't our day today. That gets a good reaction, so I'll just say that. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, uh, we will stay up, um, yeah, regardless what, what, what would have happened in that game because, um, yeah, the other teams are not going to be picking up many wins. So, M- Burnley, this will be good to kind of confirm it, I guess, get the win against them. So, yeah, I'll do that game and then, yeah, I have two more to finish off the season that I'll do in the next episode. So, yeah, I hope they'll go down well. But as you can see from the last few games, like, it's easy to feel a bit disappointed, but that's what happens when we play these big teams, like I said, when there's such, um, yeah, attribute difference. Uh, but you can say that. We've still had good results against bigger teams. We beat Manchester United. We beat Chelsea 3-1. So uh, with the exact same kind of setup because, yeah, since I was getting some decent results, I didn't really change the setup too much. Well, I did because let's go back to clear the ball on the flanks and, yeah, leave it on mixed and retain possession. Some people doesn't think that um, was going well, but it was. Uh, so, yeah, mate, last couple of games that didn't show. So if we go back to that and maybe we'll have some better results again. See, that's what I, I changed that to almost prove a point. People said, oh, it doesn't work. So let's see if we get a better result against Burnley. Of course, easier team to beat, but you can tell uh, still if we will have a good game or not, <laughs> if it suits our style. So yeah, guys, very, very interesting because that's, that's what I wanted to try and do. Um, but of course, that's for the situation. Obviously, it doesn't make sense. Like I can see the point. But when we actually have the ball, when the ball, yeah, we clear the ball to the flanks, whatever. But when, like after that happens, after we clear the ball to the flanks, retain possession. Make sure we keep possession uh, when we, in fact, do so. So, yeah, obviously, you can only clear the ball to the flank once in a play. You know what I mean? So once you cleared it to the flank, you can't clear it to the flank again. (laughs) So, yeah, (laughs) I feel like I don't like explaining things all the time because I feel like most people should understand, but... Not everyone, unfortunately. Uh, So, yeah, we'll just do attacking set pieces for this next game against Burnley and we'll get a win. I always like to get a win uh, just to boost the confidence. Luke Charman, who's this guy? Uh, Yeah, 
pretty bad potential. See Rykovic. See, these are the guys stepping up in training. He didn't step up in the last game. Yeah, Ty had been a long season for him. A Jose Perez. I think we'll go back to his training uh, to in the position we're using him in, at least inside forward. So, yeah, we'll see how he, he's, he's tried his best without playing in his most preferred role. Uh, we shall say that. But uh, let's see. Uh, any messages of note here? Monthly financial update, I think. Uh, we have buyout fees available for two transfer clauses there. So if you wanted to check those out, um, you can see there's a uh, yarn mat. There's a lot of information as you think there's anything we should do there. Uh, I'm not really, I'm not really sure. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just let me know in terms of those. But yeah, the other one would have been, if you go to transfer clauses, yeah, that's all. So I think we'll just, yeah, we can sell those if we want to. I think, hmm. Is he starting a lot? Yeah, not a lot, but a fair amount. Let me know in that situation because I'm considering selling those actually because I'm not sure getting older as a player. But anyway, guys, it's not something we're going to think about too much right now. Uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid fighting to the death. Um, Bayern doesn't really have someone to do that with. Uh, PSG kind of in the same boat there. And yeah, just three days till the next game. Burnley, it is a big one for us uh, confidence-wise because then, oh, we start to win. Uh, we, we were winning a lot of games in a row. I was kind of happy about that. But then, like, yeah, we played Tottenham and City. I, during this period, I saw that anyway. I saw these games. Those are the ones we can get results in or some results anyway. And then Tottenham and Man City were going to be the harder ones. And then we target the next three as possible. Burnley, West Ham and Crystal Palace. See, Burnley 19th. Uh, West Ham ninth actually, so yeah, they're doing uh, fairly well. And then uh, Crystal Palace in tenth, so definitely this Burnley one away from home, but last two at home. So that's going to be a good way to finish off the season, though. I think I will be happy with that, uh, finishing up in front of the home crowds, and then they know we're staying up. The the kind of atmosphere will be all right uh, with that, I think. See, this is what I mean. Red cards, four, fourth highest. Yellow cards, seventh, seventh highest. And I'm not going out that way to play at all. Never. I haven't had the get stuck in. Should I do stay on feet to try and even make sure? I'm going to try and do that because that's not something I'm trying to do, like get stuck in to give away more fouls. It's not something I'm trying to do, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of stumped because that's the... I'm not sure what other option <laughs> you could do. Uh, what is this one? Fractured arm. You just let him... Just the physio? Well, I'd rather... If it's going to help, I'd rather go to the doctor, I think, opposed to a physio. I don't know. Whole team meeting. Uh, okay, the good thing is I can say the different option this time. I'll say passionately and the first option because first is is the good one. Okay, most of the time. Ha I don't agree that staying up this season was a formality, so it's unfair of you to suggest otherwise. Okay, maybe I should have uh, read it. I'm just going to say I'm happy with that and the rest of the um, team meetings for that are so... I think all of the options could have got a bad... Because two out of the four options got bad reactions for some players. So that you might not have a choice. <laughs> yeah, if we lose this game, we'll say it for the next one. We'll try a different option. Maybe there's no chance. Maybe you should just avoid the team talks completely for ones that are... For avoid relegation. Because normally uh, when you've had a good season and you just say that, yeah, we have a good season, but it's different when you're... It's the avoid relegation one. So two out of four, you're going to get some bad reactions. I'll see from the other options if we do. But yeah, now I just think it's funny more than anything. Uh, I don't really get too mad at... Like, I don't know, maybe there's just that time in my life or because I'm making these YouTube videos. It's all for fun for me. Like, maybe I get mad when I concede a goal. Maybe you've seen that on occasions. But I don't really, like, after that happens, like, I'm not, like, so mad at the video game. It's like I sit I sit down and I think, why would I be getting mad? Or if I, if I did, like, why is this affecting me so much? It's just a video game. <laughs> so, yeah, like, there's no reason to actually, like, I don't feel bad. I just get, <laughs> I might react in the moment. But, yeah, then... Get over it very quickly, I'd say, because there's much more things going on in my life <laughs> than, than that, that is for sure. But anyway, um, Gomez, we will leave on the bench. Yedlin, we will play. I want him to show me something. Mitrovic, oh, man. 
I don't know. Dwight Gales had a decent second of a, second half of the season. Uh, so yeah, put those inside forwards on support now. I'm going to try and start Joel Campbell actually though. I want him to kind of scream at me. He's like, sign me, sign me, go back to Arsenal. Uh, even though we can only sign him 6 million, very cheap. Um, so it doesn't mean I will for sure. I'm going to drop Charlie Adam. I don't see the point of playing these low knee, apart from Joel, uh, Joel Campbell, because there's a chance to uh, sign him. Um, Ben Pearson, it's going to be the same kind of boat. John Joe Shalvey will drop out. And Ben yeah, Pearson, what can we use him as? A ball-winning midfielder in support in central mid. Uh, we shall try that, guys. And any other younger types? No, no, no. I think I think this is good uh, for us. Aqua, we've been leaving out. I just... I'm going to start him. I'm going to start him ahead of Hayden, actually. See if we can... Prove something today for us. Uh, yeah, we're going with this team. And hopefully uh, we can get the win against Burnley. So, again, we'll leave out the instructions, opposition instructions. And like I said, instructions for the team. I've gone back mixed, uh, retain possession, clear ball to flanks, and we'll see, uh, yeah, what I had previously uh, would show that uh, was a good decision. Uh, we can secure our survival with one more point. So go out there and impress me. Okay. Won't go after a more better reaction than that. Just try and... Because, uh, yeah, sometimes uh, getting all green reactions, like getting motivated, is not always good. Sometimes you want them to be focused as well. It appears it would be good. But, yeah, sometimes they may just be happy and they're not focusing on the game as much. See, judging by fouls count, we might need to take a step back. Okay, what's the suggestion? Stay on feet? I thought stay on feet is the opposite. I'm actually confused. Like, what is the option to not give away more fouls? I thought the opposite to get stuck in would. Okay, I'm getting a bit annoyed. That's... Okay. Stay on feet. It's to stay on their feet when making tackles instead of going to ground. Get stuck in instructs players to be aggressive and strong in their tackle. This. So I'm trying the opposite to that. See what I mean? And it's saying that is giving away more fouls. So... <laughs> Oh, I'm confused. I am actually stumped. Man, this is insane. I'm trying to do, yeah, that option. That I thought we would concede less foul. So, yeah, I legit have no idea right now. <laughs> Can he? Come on, Campbell. Joel Campbell. He's going to hit on his weaker right. He's not going to score. See, I predicted what happened there. But, yeah, maybe you think don't play him inside forward, but... Yeah, that's the positions. We well, that to start him there, we would need him play inside forward. Well, uh, that's what I prefer for the fullbacks getting forward. So it's kind of utilizing them. Because yeah, if you play wingers, they yeah, don't have the same kind of space. Hmm. Let's see if we can score here, Richie. Come on. Oh, Arfield makes an error. Oh, Gail, how did you miss that? That was a good chance. It came quickly. Um, obviously, sometimes that can happen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, yeah. It came quickly to him. So, sometimes that can be a surprise. Can we just get to halftime? <laughs> can we just get to halftime, please? Oh, my God. I'm a bit disappointed we haven't scored. We had a couple of opportunities here. Uh, we'll say assertively... I'm far from pleased what we saw. I think maybe we could have uh, snuck a goal, but yeah, I wouldn't say there's been too many clear chances. Just had the one, but oh my God, <laughs> giving away possession. Uh, we are holding them off. Like even if we just pick up a point here again, uh, we'll be, st I'd like to hold on at least to 15th. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how things go either way. Aqua, who's been, no one's, oh, Gale as well, man. It's a bad game. Whoever I'm starting is not playing well, so fuck. What do, what do I do? Uh, so Atsu, we will bring on. Uh, see, if we swap sides there. Okay, Joel Campbell's better on that side. Okay, we'll try the winger. So I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll play a winger. Maybe Atsu will show something there. But then, yeah, Dummett will be not really as effective uh, going forward because we want the fullbacks to get forward. But yeah, he'll kind of. He'll, I'll see if there's a highlight shows up how they kind of work out uh, when he's trying to get forward. But anyway... I think we're going to go 
instructions and we'll go a bit more direct now. We'll go more direct and we'll go with the higher tempo. So, yeah, I wouldn't say there's been a huge difference in this game, but I think we have restricted Burnley. They've only had the one on target. But, yeah, let's say you're going more direct, okay? There's a chance here for someone. Let's see. Are we going to force them into an error or are they going to build something up? We're going to see. Here's Brady. Target. And I'll see after this highlight, but I'll let you know, but we'll just see what happens. There's something I want to say. <laughs> uh, you'd like to think there would be. If I'm doing a commentary here, there will be something I want to say. Uh, folks, folks, what is he going to do? They're building up very, very slowly, which is scaring me. I always feel like the team is going to score when they're going, oh, La Salles. Okay, maybe not. But we just gave away possession like that. So, okay, maybe that won't be a chance. Good Munson. Now it's Lowton. It's going to be a cross. It's going to be a cross and it's going to be a goal. There's too many of these. There is too many of these. I don't care. Something has to be done. Something. And it can't, like, the players just have to do better in that situation. You know what I mean? Like, I have a player on him. So that's that's what I mean. You say tactics, tactics. But there's a player on him. He's he's right there. He needs to be better to stop it. And I forgot what I was going to say before now. It was something to do with the 2D gameplay and why I use it. And I can't remember. But f he's some. there's someone there. There's someone there. You have to stop that, mate. You have to stop that. Uh, I am just annoyed right now. Gedlin, let's bring on Gomez. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to take off. What I am going to do here is Aqua's going to come off and we're going to bring on Perez and we're going to put Perez in attacking midfield. So, I'm getting a bit serious here. So, yeah, and I'm going to try him as a shadow striker, actually. He's already got advanced playmaking and Kearney. So, that's what we will do and we will go attacking. And... Instructions, uh, we will, um, I need to think for a second, be more expressive and go route one and hit some early crosses in. Yeah, we'll try and, we'll try and do that. Maybe mix the crosses. Yeah, we'll mix the crosses and that's what we will do. So confirm changes, Gomez, a lot more to come from you. And I have faith in you. And obviously, guys, you know we are playing the offside trap. And as I've said, sometimes it has worked well. And that's going to be another thing. When the players are more mentally stronger, uh, they're going to be able to uh, play that more effectively. So I talk about, yeah, the player's quality and everything like that. Uh, that will be showcased. Because you might have seen in some games, oh, we were really good defensively in some of those. Uh, well done, Pearson. Well done, Pearson. That's obviously why I signed you. So fuck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, at this point, uh, nah, I can't be bothered making more changes. Just play it out, essentially. Because, you know, I'm going to have to be a bit more about Kearney. There's only one centimetre, but what are we going to make all changes? So I can't be bothered. Just let it play out. Let it play out. We're probably going to concede another because of that. And if we don't, I will be very shocked. But Kearney, yeah, yeah, we're going to concede. Let's just see what they do, Vokes, Brady. Uh, they probably should have scored there. But, man, yeah, still back to that point, the cross we conceded. Man, I hate that. Uh, so I think, yeah, now it's done and dusted. A goal's coming for them. Another, another one from a cross, but we do have a le less player now. So, yeah, that's more understandable. But, yeah, to me, still so many goals come from crosses. It is, it is pretty crazy. Uh... It's disappointing because we went through a period where we weren't conceding many goals uh, when we started to get decent results. So, uh, Atsu, why do you do that, mate? I don't know. I don't, I know late in the season, we have managed to stay up, but it's just, it's tough. Gail, can we score? Well done. Well done. We're still going to lose. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what am I getting excited for? I don't know. I wasn't that excited anyway. I was trying to... Yeah, dumb it. See, that's good. Take that opportunity now. See, he takes it now because there's less pressure because we've already lost. We're definitely not going to score. with a cut. They're just going to go, bang, nope, no highlights. You're not going to see what happens. Not going to give you a chance to win. Uh, essentially, that's what happens. Uh, but anyway, 
Yeah, a bit annoying, but as I said, please don't take the rest of the season. Well, rest of the season, there's going to be two more games for the season. Please Don't get me excited. There's not going to be a goal. Gale's going to waste it. I think. I think. Oh, my God. See, that. <sighs> uh, like I said, uh, sometimes it's best just not to speak at all. Uh, we were unlucky. I can only say we've been unlucky so many times, but yeah, we we dropped down a bit. But yeah, we probably well, who knows? We'll see what Leicester do in their game. But uh, that wasn't that wasn't too good. Pearson banned for three matches. Oh, I'm going to fine you two weeks' wages. Oh, it was unfair, was it? Ah, oh, you you made us play with uh, less man for the rest of the game. And me finding you was unfair. Okay. I understand. I understand. Kind of. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're finally going to finish off the season with some home games. So, yeah, hopefully the next episode uh, will be a bit more, I suppose, happy. I don't know. Uh, this is a bit disappointing uh, after a long season where we did well. Yeah, we lost some games in a row. Maybe they were coming after we had a good patch. But, yeah, we'll have to see. And anyway, guys, still, I'd love to see your feedback, um, your suggestions on the tactics. Again, I wouldn't say it's been a fantastic season, but we've been able to stay up and, yeah, uh, that's all I can say. We've been able to achieve that. Uh, that is a positive. Um, we've got a new contract, don't forget. So, yeah, I'm happy with the season. Next two games, very important. Again, I don't want to change too much in the next two games. And if we go back, if we yeah, get a win, maybe get a draw and a win, or well, two wins will be fantastic. But if it goes back to, yeah, again, good form again, just to understand that. But I'll definitely understand myself. If the two games aren't really impressive at all, maybe we'll have a look at some changes for next season. But how we've played this season has been good enough to stay up. And that's been good enough for now. So I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you guys next time.